Hey everybody. Hello. Do you like adventure? Because we've got plenty of adventure to share. We're outdoorsy. And we're fabulous. I'm Jason. I'm Todd. This is our little child, Ziggy. Say hello, Ziggy. Hi, Ziggy. And, and we're, we're the Vamping Guys. Hey everybody, Ziggy and I thought we would give you a quick little tour of how we pack our refrigerator before we go camping. Uh, we pretty much have it down to a science. Uh, most of our trips usually only last about four to uh, five days at the most. Uh, anything beyond that we would definitely have to be making a, uh, another trip to the store. So our beautiful little child Ziggy is just posing and posing and posing for us. Uh, so anyway, I could have the camera on him all day, but let's go ahead and move on to the fridge Here's our cute little adorable RV refrigerator. It's absorption based If you guys are interested in how absorption refrigerators work uh, Feel free to go online and google it. It's actually really interesting The only difference with ours is that it is a electric absorption refrigerator Let's take a little tour of this cute little tiny fridge. Here is the inside. Usually I turn it on about 24 hours before we head out. With absorption refrigerators, you definitely want them to get cold before you put in your food. Right before we head out, at about an hour before our trip, I will pack up the fridge and we will be ready to hit the road. Here's the side door. You can see there's a little bit of storage right through here. Usually this is where I'll put all the condiments. It does have a little beer holder and it can hold a perfect six pack. A few things that I would recommend with your RV refrigerator is a thermometer. And you can see I've had this running for about 24 hours and I've got it down to where I know the perfect control setting to get it right in that little blue area, which is the optimum temperature for your refrigerator. Another great little tip is cabinet grips. And it really helps the food from not sliding around. If uh, we hit a bump or uh, make a little bit of a uh, turn, things can kind of like flop back and forth. And this really helps uh, the items to grip and not slide around on the glass shelf. This little gadget is an RV refrigerator's best friend. So this cute little Camco RV fan, it runs on two D batteries. Gonna turn it on right here. And right there is a little fan that just blows a tiny little stream of air to help circulation in your refrigerator. The thing with absorption refrigerators is that they do not have a compressor, so they do not circulate the air that well. I put this on the top shelf. As the heat is rising to the top, it blows the warmer air against the cold back. Then the cold air settles down, and I'm hoping that I'm getting a very good circulation, and I find placing it on the top shelf works best for uh, my refrigerator. The other little tip I have as well, since this is an absorption fridge and the back is the only thing that gets cold, if you're packing food too closely to the back, it can get a little bit frosty. I usually turn it around maybe once a day to rotate my food items, because uh, when I was first using this fridge, a few of my food items in the back did get a little bit uh, frosty on them. It was still good to eat, but I did have to uh, microwave it a little bit to get rid of the ice crystals that were on it. So now let's move on to the freezer. So here is the freezer. And the interesting thing with my refrigerator is in the freezer area, the sides are what get cold. Whereas down below, the back wall gets cold. So when I first got it, I wanted to test out how it froze ice, for example. And it was kind of interesting because after about six hours, 
the edges started to freeze, but the middle was still liquid. So it does take a good while, I would say about eight hours, for it to freeze up these ice cubes completely solid. What I usually do when I'm packing it is I'll get a foil cooking tray, fill it level with ice, then I'll put food on top of that, and then I'll use a couple of little freezer packs as well. Another important tip with absorption refrigerators is they work on extracting heat from the air and leaving cold air behind. So we now have great circulation on the inside of the fridge to make sure that everything stays nice and cold, but you also have to make sure that you're getting circulation behind the refrigerator. There is a area where the heat rises and escapes up through the ceiling vent. On the side of the RV is where the intake vent is located. So as the heat is rising behind the fridge, it's bringing in cooler air from outside and creating its own natural circulation as well. So it's very important that you make sure and keep your outdoor vent cleaned as well as your ceiling vent cleaned. It can get sometimes gunked up with leaves and debris, so it's very important to always make sure that your vents are clean because if they're not, the refrigerator will not run as efficiently because all of the heat behind it cannot escape. And with absorption refrigerators, they have to have a way of releasing the heat and the heat is released behind the refrigerator. And the last item that I'm gonna recommend is the Best Tech 400 watt inverter. This little device is amazing because our refrigerator is electric only and we do not have a generator. I need to keep the refrigerator running as we're driving to our destination. So I'll just hook it up to the house battery, which is under our steps. And then it's long enough, including the refrigerator cord, to where I can just put it across the floor and plug it in right here to the refrigerator and it'll keep the refrigerator running off of the battery as we're getting to our campsite. So I hope you really enjoyed our video today. As always, have a fabulous day and stay tuned. Leave a comment to say hi. If you like us, please subscribe. And if you don't, our little fluffy dog will attack you.